Last year, more than 2,500 LSC teammates, along with 2,429 donors and 4,125 advocates like you, improved the lives of thousands of our neighbors. A key proponent of their of the resettlement of the refugees is having that community support. So, while the re, the resettlement staff gets them settled and gets them access to jobs and you know helps get them self sufficient, the community really helps welcome them into the community and helps them set down roots and um, and really become established in their new home. We serve um, clients from across the state, and the need for this program is for individuals that mainly lack placement that lack, um, that wasn't enrolled in school, or lack structured environment. So with the um, building of this program, um, it gave DSS and the clients uh, a situation that now clients have structured activity throughout the day. They're no longer missing school. We still, we offer school. They, they get in school. They're no longer missing group session and clinical session because they're able to um, get those services here. The recovery work that Lutheran Services does kind of started with conversations with the Senate. Um, the former bishop um, had a real desire for to see that work done um, through mission work um, of the Lutheran Church. And so obviously Lutheran Services Carolinas was um, a, a partner in that and we began trying to figure out how we begin that work. And so that was Kindred Manor for the first part we joined in. Um, Restoration Chapel and partner to get that program up and running. We have a lot of great stories, honestly, um, but I think one that sticks out to me um, as being particularly impactful is one of the Afghans that arrived uh, about two, two and a half years ago. Um, he worked with the U.S. military in Afghanistan, um, helped fight against the Taliban there, um, and then had to flee for his life when the Taliban took over. Um, and then came to the U.S. and had to start over completely from scratch. Um, and one of the things that was most impactful for me was when he walked into our office and just had this smile and was beaming because he told me that he was able to pay his bills for the first time. And so that was really impactful because it's just a lot of those little like small victories um, where they become independent, where they start integrating into life here. Um, that means so much to them. Um, and so that's, you know, it's just really impactful. And now he's gotten a certification um, to become a plumber um, and is working as a plumber um, and is coming a long way um, from where he started. This program has had a major impact on um, individuals that we serve. One of the big things, because we're constantly being uh, praised from DSS, that the um, placement refusal has dropped tremendously. Um, Individual behavior has decreased due to being in a structured environment for 12 hours throughout the day, um, as well as being with good staff that, that understands their coping skills, understands how to meet their need, not only staff needs, but meet their need. So um, it's been a big win for both DSS, the clients, as well as Lutheran Service. Some of our ladies have um, moved out and gotten, you know, in homes of their own, and while they've been able to they were able to stay at Kindred Manor and you know, save up, get their house set up, things like that. We've seen lots of ladies who have um, strained relationships with their, their families and their children um, have the ability to reconnect in a safe space and you know, have those reestablish those relationships as they move out um, on their own. With your help, LSC walks together with all we serve. Our stories bring us together.